Say hi. Hi. Mom, Berkeley, but... say hi. Little bubbles coming out. I know, we gotta pour new bubbles, huh? We gotta go get new bubbles at the store. Just, just go in the garage mm -hmm. and buy. Oh, Porter, Berkeley says she wants the ball thrown again. Can you throw the ball? Where's She's the ball? sad. Where is it? I think it's still in the grass. She can't find it. Can you help her? Go find the ball. Go help Porter. Go find their ball. It's just right there in the grass. Yep, go get it. You gotta squeeze it for her. Good morning, you guys. It is early morning. Well, I guess it's 1030. I guess it's not early morning. It feels early to me. You want me to fill it with water? Okay. Yeah. As you can see, we are dog sitting again. <laughs> um, my parents actually just dropped her off. They're headed to Michigan for the weekend just to get away. Um, I don't blame them. It's supposed to be a beautiful weekend. It is Friday, if you couldn't tell from like my context clues. Grayson is actually at camp. This whole week he has been doing a vacation Bible school camp. It's actually his second one. He did one earlier in the summer in June, but I totally forgot I signed him up for this other camp that he's at right now. Their sign up was like back in January. And so I like totally forgot I already signed him up for this one. And then I signed him up for another one. So he's just extra holy this summer and getting all the Jesus love. But those camps are so cute. Like I love Vacation Bible School. I loved it as a kid. And Grayson has been loving it as well. This is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> okay, just a little bit. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's just a, a morning camp. It's from nine to noon every day. Yesterday was super fun. After the camp was over, they had a um, Kona shaved ice truck and gave free shaved ice to all the kids. And even Porter, who I tried to get him into this camp, but he was like two months too shy. He had to be four by the end of July and he's four in September. I emailed them and was like, please, like he goes to the preschool, he's potty trained, like he would do well in this camp. And they were like, no, sorry, rules is rules. So anyway, even Porter got a shaved ice. So that was super fun. And they even gave some to Avery. So we just like Mama, sat outside and ate our shaved ice. And that was fun. Oh, sorry, Porter needed help with his squirt gun. Yeah, Grayson's been loving it. They've been playing, singing Jesus songs, playing Jesus music. They'd have like a science section. Um, an outdoor recreation section. Um, they like recreate Bible stories. They have like a little art section. So he brings home like arts and crafts every day that he's made. And anyway, so this is the last day of the camp. Kind of been fun because I've been getting a little glimpse into how it's gonna be with Grayson in school. He starts school in just a few weeks. And when he's in school all day, I'm just gonna have the little two, Porter and Avery at home all day, every day. So I've been kind of getting a glimpse into like how that's gonna be because every morning it's just been Porter and Avery. Camp's almost done. Today's the last day. Grayson's been enjoying it. We've just been hanging out in the mornings, which have been nice. We have plans after um, Grayson's camp today. And what we are going to do, I'm gonna go get shoes. I'll be right back. What we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna meet up with my sister and my sister-in-law and we're gonna hit up the splash pad. It's, it's not the warmest outside. I don't understand what's going on with July. It's supposed to be like 90 degrees on Monday, but then today, like this morning, I was cold going outside. Like it was in the 60s. And by the time we go to the splash pad, which we're going at like one o'clock, so you think that's like, oh, the hottest part of the day? No, it's like going to be 78 degrees, but sunny, but I don't know how long we're going to last there. But we are going to hit the splash pad. It's one of the things on our bucket list. We actually went to our city's splash pad um, a couple weeks ago. I just took the two boys and we met up with Grayson's friend, but we haven't been to my sister's splash pad. She lives in a different city. So we're going to go and check that one out. And then after the splash pad, we're actually gonna go, I guess there's like an ice cream shop that's like walkable from the splash pad. So we're gonna go to get some ice cream afterwards. So we're just gonna do that as soon as Grayson's camp is over. We're trying to time it up between the baby's nap schedules, which is, he 
easier said than done. Avery and Ivy are just on two different sleep schedules, but Avery has actually been pushing her second nap later and later in the day. She's getting really close to just dropping that morning nap. Usually they say that babies drop it around 18 months, but for now she's still doing two naps a day. So we're gonna try and time it up so we can do it in the early afternoon, do the splash pad and ice cream, and then come home and put Avery down for a nap. It's so nice having the older boys in my car with me because they're able to keep Avery up so she doesn't fall asleep in the car. That's usually not her MO anyway. She doesn't usually fall asleep in the car, but just in case she ever did, I can just get them to like clap their hands or like sing or like talk to her. And then that usually keeps her up for the whole car ride. So that has been super nice. So I will definitely rely on that if I need it. Other than that, this weekend, we don't have too much going on. Anthony's going golfing tomorrow. Boo, he's gonna be gone like all day. I'm so annoyed with it, but I kinda owe him because he watched the kids all week last weekend because I went wedding dress shopping for my future sister-in-law. So now it's like his turn to do something fun, but he's leaving next weekend because he's going on a bachelor party for my future brother-in-law and he's gonna be all gone all weekend. So he just gets to do all the fun things. But then Sunday, Porter has his first little friend birthday party. He's never been to one before and he got invited. One of his preschool friends invited him. So he's gonna go to that. I'll probably take him. And then um, that evening, Anthony and I are going to go out to dinner to celebrate eight years of marriage. I've said this before, but our anniversary is actually on Tuesday, July 30th, best day ever. But it's a work day. The kids have swim class. Like it just doesn't work out for us to go out on that day. So we're going to go out on Sunday, a couple days early and celebrate then. So my parents are going to come and watch the kiddos for us so that we get a night off, which I am super excited about. But Today, we are doing splash pad and ice cream. So I'm hoping to vlog a little bit. I've taken the boys several times to the splash pad. I've never taken Avery to the splash pad before. So kind of interested to see how she's gonna feel about it. I don't know that she's gonna love it. She loves the bath, but I think she's just gonna like, it's gonna be chaotic because I'm sure there's gonna be other kids there and then my boys will be running around like crazy. So she'll probably just like wanna sit and like watch the chaos. I'm sure that's what all the babies are gonna wanna do because we're gonna have all five cousins together. So it'll definitely be interesting to see like what the kids think about it. So it'll be super fun, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure how Avery's gonna feel about it. My kids have, they used to hate the splash pie when they were little. Every year they grow to like it a little more, but they still aren't like in love with it. They like it for about 10 minutes and then they're over it. So not sure how long we're gonna stay at the splash pad, but gotta do it for the pictures and the memories. We try to go to the splash pad at least once a year, but that's about usually all we make it to is once a year. <laughs> I don't know why my kids just aren't that crazy into the splash pad. I see the other kids that like play for hours in it, no matter what, and that's just not my kids, so something fun to do we're trying to hit all the things off our bucket list we've done so many fun things this summer grayson goes back to school in just a few weeks so we're running out of time to do the rest of the things on our bucket list but we really don't have that much left it's just like go to kosai gray wants to go to the beach i don't know that we're going to get to a beach there's really no beach in central ohio um gas station slushies so we can still do that maybe we should go to the zoo again because we haven't been since early early that would be fun so anyway hopefully we can um get a couple more things done off our list but next week we are going school supply shopping for gray so i'm very very excited about that that will be fun but anyway i am just rambling oh one more thing the olympics start today today's the first day of the olympics there's no competitions today. It's just the opening ceremony is tonight and I'm totally going to watch it because I love seeing all that. So it's on tonight. So that's my Friday evening plan. So exciting watching the opening ceremony of the Olympics. I don't even know if Anthony will watch it with me. He probably will think it's dumb, but that's what's going to be on my TV every night for the next like two weeks now is just the Olympics because there's nothing else on TV. Well, that's not true. Big Brother is on TV my absolute favorite show ever it started this past week and it is so awesome already it's on three days a week wednesdays thursdays and sundays if you ever want to follow along it's the best show ever other than big brother there's really nothing on like no sports and things like that so i will be watching the olympics every night 
Do you watch the Olympics? Let me know. It's actually been all over TikTok. All the players have been like showing the Olympic Village and all the key gear, the free gear that they get. And it looks so fun to be there. So hopefully everybody does well. I mean, not everybody can win, I guess, but. And then after this year, the next Summer Olympics are actually gonna be held in the US, in um, LA, in California. So that'll be cool to have it like in America. And then the Winter Games, they just announced in like 2038 or something, it's gonna be held in Utah. So lots of Olympics coming to the US, I guess. Avery's like, wait, what about me? I want a popsicle. So we are back from the splash pad and ice cream. We had such a good time. Avery loved the water. My boys liked it for about 10 minutes and then we're over it. But Avery was happy to just sit and play. And then of course, everybody loved ice cream. Even Avery did. So it was like a super fun little outing. I took a couple clips so and put that here. I don't think I took any at ice cream though because it was a little chaotic. But yeah, it was super fun. And now we're back home, hanging out outside. The boys are gonna get a popsicle. They've been doing some sidewalk chalk. Avery and I are hanging out on the blanket. And it's almost bedtime. And then I'm gonna watch the Olympic ceremony. Hopefully it's good. I've heard it's kind of weird. So we'll see. Yay!